Your eyes are dreamy. They remind me of the sunrise at the ocean. Your lips are soft and luscious. I like the way you lick them when you talk. I wonder how they taste. Back to your eyes, they're so expressive. Rather you squint or you wink, those eyes can tell you a story without you ever speaking on what you think. Your nose is fat. It reminds me of our ancestors. Your essence reminds me of home. I'm not ashamed to admit that sometimes when I'm alone, I touch myself to the thought of you and I might let out a moan. I dream of you consistently. Your skin reminds me of Comet. And the rich, vitalizing silk that fertilized the ground. Your hands are big and firm, hardworking, protector, warrior. And your voice possesses a boisterous sound. I can't help but wonder how your touch will feel against my body. Now, my intention with this poem isn't to be naughty. But then again, I never told anybody that I was nice. I just need to express myself. These thoughts pass through my mind, not once, not twice, but many times, sometimes constantly. Am I supposed to just keep them to myself? To push them away or to suppress them? That would mean shutting down my heart and I don't wanna live like that. I'd much rather my flower burst all over your shack like confetti. It doesn't matter to me if you aren't ready to join my party, I'm still gonna send out the invitation and continue to admire you from afar. No longer in secret, my conscience free of doubts and what ifs because I have always remembered you since before I consciously knew you. My soul recognized your essence before my eyes recognized your face. Cognizance at first sight of feeling so deep, words are hard to express, but still, I'll try. With these limitless emotions that I possess for you, I wish you could see what I see when I look at you. I sometimes see myself. That's why I get angry with you when you allow yourself to be treated less than you deserve. I take it personally. I'm sorry. I don't care about the difference in our age. Our hearts still beat the same. They still pump blood throughout our body. Our veins are orchestrated the same. My heart beats for you. <laughs> I don't tell you I love you because it makes your cheeks turn pink. Have you ever seen a black man blush? It's the most beautiful thing. My soul is old and it knows that you are my soulmate. The ancestors revealed it to me. The power of our connection is limitless. I'm not writing this to place unnecessary pressure on you or to confuse you, but to express how I feel. These feelings are real. You live in my mind rent free. And when I get angry or lash out, I too am struggling because what I feel isn't matching what I see, even though looks can be deceiving. It seems like lately, no matter how much I try to push you out my mind and stay away from you, I always end up being led right back to you, your higher self sending out an SOS. I got a crush on you playing on the loudspeaker at Home Depot. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't you forget about me. Playing on the radio, in the car, at the pizza place. We probably go and grab a slice at the same damn time. So with that being said, I won't say I love you, but to take care of yourself. And it doesn't matter even if forever we remain physically, emotionally, and mentally apart because we are spiritually unified. And your essence has rooted a very special place deep within my heart. I'm your biggest fan. I'm always rooting for you. And I love that you're a manly man. Don't ever stop being you. You got this. Keep going. That was a fire poem, bro. Like, for real. Crafted by the gods themselves.